Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're playing Gettysburg The Tide Turns. Uh, if you remember, we tried playing this game a couple of uh, months ago, or maybe a week or, well, several weeks ago at the least, maybe a month or two. Uh, and we got through most of the first day's fight uh, before the game kind of slowed down to a crawl and crashed. The game has been patched since then, and so I wanted to go ahead and give it another go. This is a turn-based game made by Shenandoah Studios that was originally a uh, game that was up on Kickstarter that was funded and kickstarted by Shenandoah Studios and, its, and uh, you know, all of its supporters. When Shenandoah Studios uh, went under, they went bankrupt, uh, they were acquired by Slytherin and Matrix Games, who finished development and agreed, obviously, to uh, provide, or not obviously, but they agreed to provide copies to all of the Kickstarter members and release the game publicly. And after a rather delayed and, and slow process, the game has come out uh, for people to purchase. Now, today I'm actually going to be playing a play-by-email game, and I'm going to be playing it with Jean Marciniak. You probably know him as the Strategy Wargamer, uh, who is also my co-host on the Single Malt Strategy podcast. Uh, so we're going to play a multiplayer uh, effort, and uh, I believe this is the one. We, we tried to make sure that we could get it set up first, so I'm going to go ahead and join, and I think it's going to ask me for a password? No, it's not. Okay. Um, so it's going to load the scenario here. We're playing, again, I believe the entire battle of Gettysburg, and uh, you can see here it's Heath's turn, uh, which... Wait, I'm, am I the Confederacy? Apparently, I'm playing as the Confederacy. Um, that's news to me, but uh, <laughs> okay, um, I can do that. Uh, so we're going to be playing as the Confederacy. Surprise! And I'm going to be issuing my first orders. So first orders on uh, July 1st are to move two brigades here, closing in. Uh, with the Union forces on McPherson's Ridge. And uh, you can see here the Rebels are, are the, not the Rebels, oh God, I've got to get the end of my head. I'm playing as the Confederates uh, as we uh, move forward uh, against the Union troops, which are dug in here along McPherson's Ridge, uh, with Devin and Gamble's cavalry brigades under General Buford, uh, his cavalry division. They've got one small battery of artillery. We've got two brigades coming up. These guys aren't going to be strong enough probably to dislodge this cavalry. He's also going to have some infantry coming up this road. Uh, elements of the 1st Corps, you can see here, he's already got Cutler and the Iron Brigade. First two brigades of the 1st Division of the 1st Corps and the Army of the Potomac coming up the Emmitsburg Road uh, to provide relief. At the end of the day, the goal for us, the Confederacy, is to drive the Union back and take Cemetery Hill, Cemetery Ridge, and Culp's Hill you can see these uh, little Confederate flag markers represent cons Confederate victory objectives. So we win the battle by taking those objectives. And there's a lot that can occur throughout the rest of the map. Uh, but at the end of the day, playing as the Confederacy, our objective here is to drive the Union back and take those positions. So surprise, I'm playing as the Confederacy. And we are into turn one of this game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit next. Well, actually, we've done all of our... Uh, units, so I'll go ahead and commit our forces. You can see a new hour has started, July 1st, two hours. These formations await orders, and another draw of orders uh, leads to our artillery reserve getting to go first. So actually, we get to play another uh, portion of another turn uh, before we before we give this turn back to uh, to Jean. So we're bringing our artillery up here to support the advance, and that uh, is all of the units we can move here at the start of turn two. The next die roll is USA Combat, uh, which the US is given the option to bombard. They have one artillery uh, piece in position. It's only a single gun, so I imagine it is going to be too weak to really do anything that might hurt us, um, so we'll find out what happens. Anyway, guys, what I'm going to do for this series, because I know this is a short video, I'm going to chop these videos up, bind them together, so you're going to have kind of one uh, 15 to 20 to 30 minute grouping of turns. So we're not going to play through one turn per video because obviously we're only five minutes in here and that would be rather short. So what we're going to do for this series is we're going to go ahead and we're going to play uh, a grouping of these where I'll just kind of record separately and then uh, add my commentary on top of it uh, as we play through it. But I am going to show this play by email. We'll see how things turn out. I haven't played as the Confederacy yet. All of my playthroughs uh, have been as the Union. Uh, both in my original Let's Play and uh, sort of my follow-ons to test the stability of the game. 
Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I don't, I don't know exactly what works best for the Confederacy. I've got more of a defensive mindset, so we'll see how this all plays out. But with that being said, guys, I appreciate you joining me for this sort of sneak peek of this series and my own uh, real-time reaction and surprise to understanding that I'm playing as a different side. Um, but with that being said, guys, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm out.